Hi everyone, welcome to Sandra Sensations. I'm going to be doing a wave video. This time I'm going to use the chain. Last time I did the blow dryer thing and it worked out awesome. I might use the blow dryer a little bit this time, but I do want to get the form of my wave done with the chain. Hopefully, that's the plan. So these in front of me are all the colors that I'm using. I added a little bit of extra water to each cup because I wanted it to be a little more fluid than I usually work with. So we're doing cerulean blue, my favorite metallic, which is the peacock pearl. I've also got my favorite color, deep turquoise, which matches the pearl really well. I've got a green mixture that I made up myself, actually. This is a little bit of white, a little bit of um, light green, a little bit of yellow mixed together and this one is just regular old navy so that's what we're going to do the colors for this wave i'm just going to pull these guys aside get them out of my way and get to it here all righty so my first color i'm going to start with is the navy and i'm going to draw roughly I want to start over here this time, I think. This is an 18 by 24 canvas. It's got the white acrylic ready to go on it. There we go. I'm just going to use up as much of this dark color that I've pre-mixed as I can so I don't waste any paint. There we go. There's my navy. Then I'm going to do my cerulean blue. Now I put one drop of silicone in this blue as well to help with cell action. One drop isn't very much, but it's probably all you need. My last painting had quite a bit of cell action and it had no silicone in it. Okay. Now for some metallic. Let's add that in. Now, I've never done the wave with a chain. I have no idea if it's going to work. This will be a test run for sure. You can never go wrong using the metallic paints because it always has a shimmer. When your art is hanging on the wall, it looks really sharp. Okay, so I'm doing this green, which is a bit bright, but it's going to blend with the blues. And I have a feeling we'll make it a little more tropical. Then my last one, which is the deep turquoise. Lots of paint on there, that's for sure. All right. Now, one thing I didn't test was, is my chain long enough? But I did double it up, so it should be. Hmm. Let's hope it is. 
have another one I can add to it if I need to. So I'm just laying that down all the way along the white. I made it to the end. Perfect. Okay. Now fingers crossed that this works. Just going to move a few of my paint bottles over because I know some of the paint's going to come right off the side of this canvas as I pull it. Have a little paint flood happening. Okay. And which way do I want to go? This way or this way? Uh, my gut says go this way, so I'm going this way. tray over here. That looks pretty cool. Now to figure out what I want to do with this little bit of a puddle happening here. Hmm, I think I'm going to get some plastic sheets. Hopefully I can reach it with my microphone cord on. And scoop a little bit of that paint out. I tried using my microphone without having it attached to me, but it just doesn't work well. People couldn't hear me, so I gotta wear it attached until I figure out another alternative. Okay, let's get some of this paint out of here. Splashing I'm okay with. I'm going to blow it anyways with the dryer. I was thinking I might not have to, but by the looks of it, I'm going to have to use the blow dryer too. Okay, let's just put that aside for a sec. And I'm going to grab the blow dryer. Okay, it's going to get a little loud for a minute. looks awesome. Okay, I'm going to give it a torch.
Okay, let's see what that does for a minute. Get my straw. Just want to get my corner a little bit. And the sides. Just a couple spots that need to get touched. The cells are really popping out on this. And of course, I won't be able to lift it and show you because if I do, I'll wreck it. But I will take a picture of it and post it when I post this video. So you'll see the finished effect on it for sure. Okay. So I'm going to blow all the way along the edge like I did the last one as well, just to get a little more of that water motion happening. Probably have a few splashes showing. And when I'm all done, I'll take a picture and I'll show it on the video when I post it. Love these colors too. It is more tropical looking and not quite as dark as the last one. Thanks very much for watching everyone.